Okay, this is 4.2b, kites. Okay, a kite is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of congruent adjacent sides. So this is important. It's important to know that these two sides are adjacent and congruent, and these are adjacent and congruent. Same here, okay? So we know in this case that where these two different congruent two different sides meet, that tells us something. We have one pair of opposite congruent angles. So they're right here, and then they would be right here, right where the two different side lengths meet. We know that the diagonals are perpendicular, so if I draw myself a kite, this diagonal and this diagonal, they form 90 degree angles, and one diagonal bisects another. They do not bisect each other. So in this original picture here of this kite with these two diagonals, this one you can tell is not bisected, but this one is. So I know that this is congruent to this, okay? So now let's think about in terms of all of our different quadrilaterals that we've talked about, how do they all relate? Well, I know that I have quadrilaterals. And there's a big happy family. We've talked already about parallelograms. And we know that some parallelograms are rectangles, whereas some are rhombi. We know that if these two rhombuses or rhombi and rectangles have a baby, they would make a square. So thinking about this, we know that all squares are both rectangles and rhombuses, rhombi, and parallelograms and quadrilaterals. But all rectangles are only parallelograms and quadrilaterals. So you can kind of follow this map upwards. But a rectangle and a rhombus have absolutely nothing in common. Let's also think we now know from before that we have trapezoids. And then from that, we have an isosceles trapezoid. So take a moment and think about where a kite would fit in. And we'll talk about that tomorrow.